Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So I want to continue taking a look at the Stream Deck and how it can be incorporated with your TriCaster Productions. And today I will show you how to create a countdown clock using the Stream Deck. Let your watchers know when your show will begin and etc. using this tool. So let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so here we are on my desktop, which is running the Stream Deck application. And then I also have NDI Studio Monitor open here so that I can quickly access the different features within my TriCaster 2 Elite. Okay, so let's take a look at the countdown timer. We'll just simply grab it from under the New Tech plugin and drop it onto any of these buttons here. We'll drag it there. All right, now the first thing that we need to do is configure this so that it is talking to our TriCaster. So the vital pieces of information you're going to need are going to be the TriCaster IP address and the username and password if you're running Live Panel. Now, if you're not running Live Panel, don't want to run Live Panel, have never run Live Panel, you don't need uh, to, to worry about that. You can still use the Stream Deck uh, in this manner. Uh, if you uh, aren't running it, the username and password is simply admin admin if you are running live panel then you would just type in the username and password that you were using for live panel to make this work okay so uh, for this now the we're gonna need to get the TriCaster's IP address so we'll go over to my TriCaster open up the notifications window in the top right and our IP address is right here at the bottom in the middle so 1028310 cool 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 uh, so we will just type that in there 10.28, whoops, 10.28.3.10, bam. All right, and now we are connected. Okay, so uh, the next thing that we need to do is, before we start getting into the timer details here, uh, we need to embed this into, say, a graphic uh, that we can put on screen so that we can tell our audience that we have a countdown actually happening. So, uh, if you look down at the bottom of the Stream Deck, uh, menu here. You'll see for help, if I click on this carrot, it gives us some instructions and we'll need to copy this information uh, into a, a data link key uh, or a, a graphic, etc. to bring that into your system. Now I already have that configured over here in my TriCaster and my DDR2. So if I click on this button right now, uh, you'll see that it currently says 10 just because I had the default in there. But if I select it, it says percent SD underscore countdown Cool, and that is the data link key that you need to get this to work. All right, now I have that countdown assigned to my downstream key number one. Let's go ahead and bring that on screen. And there we go, 10 minutes, good to go. All right, so now let's go through and look at some of these other details. Let's scroll up. So uh, for the title, you can title this whatever you want, like for example, countdown. However, when you do that, you'll notice that that takes up the screen and you no longer have a clock there. So kind of, kind of defeats the purpose a little bit. So I would go ahead and just, for me personally, uh, I have that blank just so I can have a countdown clock so I can just see it. All right, now you have options to display this in minutes and seconds, uh, or you can do just the seconds. Uh, it, it's kind of up to you depending on how many digits you have in there, et cetera. If you have just a single digit, that'll work. Um, you know, multiple digits, et cetera, you, you know how it goes. Okay. So uh, from here, uh, you also have an option for triggering a macro. Now this is pretty cool because uh, what you can do, let's say that your show begins with a, uh, an animation or say a video or something like that. You can create a macro uh, within your system uh, and then once this countdown is complete, it will trigger that macro and all you have to do is simply type in the name of the macro that you are using. Uh, which uh, is an important point here. Uh, just keep in mind whenever you're creating uh, names for your macros, keep it simple, uh, something that you can recall easily and just type into this box. Okay, now you also have an option for a timer reset. So what that means is once it gets to the end of your countdown clock, it will reset and you can put in a different uh, value in there so it won't be the same thing. So uh, for example, right now it's set to 10 minutes, but let's go ahead and make that... 12 seconds like that all right cool and then on the current time let me go ahead and put zero and we'll make that 10 seconds because we don't want to wait that long all right 
Cool. So let's go ahead and bring that graphic up on screen again. My downstream gear number one. There we go. Let me full screen this so we can see it all. So there we go. We got 10 seconds there. And what I'm going to do now is I don't need to look at the Stream Deck software anymore. I can just look at the TriCaster. And my Stream Deck, all I'll have to do now is just simply press that button. And we are off and running. Now, if I need to pause that countdown for any reason, all I have to do is simply click it again. It will go black and stop the countdown. All right. And I'll go ahead and do this again. Resume it, and countdown is over. Boom. Cool. Good to go. And then in order to reset it, uh, all I have to do is just click it again. And now you'll see there's the 12 seconds that I put in there for the timer reset. All right. We'll let that count down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Cool. Okay. So now the next thing that I want to show you is how to trigger the macro side of it. Okay. So I have a macro that's in here already. And the way I have it set up is I have my timer on screen on my downstream keyer number one. And if I go to my macro, configure macros, go to session macros here. There it is. It's a welcome. Uh, and if I hit play on that, let me move this a little bit over to the side of the thing here. So when I hit play on that, all that's really going to do is just bring on my downstream keyer number one, which has my welcome title and gets rid of my downstream keyer. Uh, number, sorry, other way around, <laughs> downstream gear number two, and then it'll get rid of my downstream gear number one. So if I hit play on that, check it out. There it goes. It basically just swaps them. Okay? So let's go ahead and close that, and I'm going to take that off screen and bring my countdown clock back up. There we go. Now it's set to zero. So now let's go back to my stream deck and configure it for the macro side of things. So a current timer, let's go ahead and set this to 10 seconds again. All right, when I do that, you see that that automatically updated on my TriCaster. And now for trigger macro, uh, again, I have that just titled as welcome. Let me just review that. Go back to your macros. You'll see that it's just called welcome, capital W, lowercase, everything else. So I'll go over to this button and type in welcome with a capital W. All right. And uh, everything else stays the same. So let's go back into the TriCaster and let's go ahead and start our show. So we got 10 seconds of show time. Let's go ahead and hit the stream deck. You see that starts to count down. And once it gets to zero, you'll see that it'll run that macro swapping downstream keyer number one to downstream keyer number two. Check it out. Bam, done. Pretty simple. Pretty dang cool. Okay, so uh, I highly recommend this. This is pretty uh, nice to have a, just a countdown clock right there on your uh, desktop and uh, just sitting on your desk. You can program it however you want, have it trigger macros. Pretty powerful. So play around with it and, of course, have some fun. There you go. Another awesome way to use the Elgato Stream Deck in your productions. There's more tutorial videos on this topic that you can find on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash newtechinc. Make sure that you click like, comment on it, and subscribe to our page. Now, you can find formalized new tech training at Newtech University at newtech.com slash newtech-u. And TriCaster operators, we are having an awards ceremony for the TriCaster Director of the Year. So get your submissions in now for a chance to win some really cool prizes. You can sign up and find more details uh, over at newtech.com slash T-D-O-T-Y. And if you're sharing your work with new tech equipment on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags newtech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what y'all are working on. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.